I was playing on a live stream today, but you hear my voice is a little raspy and yeah, drag it a little bit. But yeah, we're going to do Studio 5000 Timers Encounters today, but you know, it's Thanksgiving and yeah, I'm tired. So also realized, um, yeah. Oh, we've been playing around. We got we got class next week, so I got to get this ready for class, which means that, yeah, we got to tear down all the trainers. We got to sort all the wires back out, make everything look just like it was new again. And so today's a catch-up day in all the areas. You know, you know, we consume a ton of wire with trainers. Uh, I got to cut up wire bags. So. Got Michael over here chewing up about ten thousand pieces of wire. Of course, now I got to get everything I stole out of the new classroom back into the old classroom and including the screen. Folks, you need to put in the comments. You need to tell Amber, we need we need more screens. I mean, we need to we need to take this 85. It needs to become a second classroom screen. We need like a 100-inch screen in our main classroom. Got to get us stocks with all types of fun snacks. And of course, all you can eat, Alan, Tylenol and Advil. Some people say I give them a headache. Doing a little refurbishment job. I had a school that had some old trainers, and so they're like, hey, can we take some parts and make one of your trainers out of it? We don't do this often, but this school's been really good to us. But their drives are at version 5. So we're going to have to use a compact flash or control flash plus. And make sure you use the plus if you got to do this, because, boy, they did make a, a very feature-rich plus thingy-majigger. And if I was really smart, I would remember to assign an IP address to this, and I don't think I did that. We'll use everybody's favorite way to assign an IP address and go discover. And it's got a boot P request going on, and we're going to assign it to 192.168.10. No, Mary Bruce, I haven't been over here in a while. What is it, 12? 12 is a drive, right? Yes. Oh, look, she has it written down right there. 12, which we can just use up and down areas and figure out that, find that. And now click OK. And then we'll press OK to make it static. Then we'll be able to plug into our drive. And we should be able to go over here to our default PLC trainer. Then we'll let the little boxes dance around for a little bit. And, well, should have been about now. Oh, there it goes. We'll grab that, and we'll click the OK button. All right, I don't know why, but uh, my little download, is, download latest from the internet is not working. So we had to go over to the product selector. I'm sorry, am, am I interrupting your conversation? I was speaking, and now I've lost my thought. You do this all the time? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, we well, back to this because you know some of us have to actually ship stuff, oh. ship, ship, ship things for all the people to be thankful for yeah. at Thanksgiving. Yeah. But all right, now it's ready. What's oh, not? Why well, don't I have a next button? Oh, let's check the box. Now we get a next button, and we're gonna hit the flash. And it says it's doing some stuff, so we'll hold our breath, and Amber will entertain us while we wait. <laughs> We're just waiting. We're just waiting. <laughs> waiting to show. Victoria, wait. All right, it says that Flash was happy, so now if we take our cable, and we plug it into the test station. This is an ICP with an RE5000. And we look up there, it says we have an ICP with an R8-5000. And then we look in here, and we make sure the motor rotates the right direction. You may box it. And of course I go to the second one and I can't make it work, but I've been to Josh Vargas's OT industrial ethernet training and networking. And yeah, you gotta plug the ethernet cable in to make it work. So we plug the cable in. And yeah, the next one will come on. And we can update its firmware. Apparently I do have a serious brain fog because it said it was pulling for power up and I'm sitting here staring and I'm like, man, that seems like an incredibly long pause before it actually powers up. And I realized I have that trainer powered up. Man, there's that guy again. Can't even get respect in my own PLC training class. 
But yeah, I was just going to point out, well, one, seven years ago, it looks like, uh, yeah, we, we've never been real serious here. Ooh, that was really pretty. Oh, and now I'm scrolling off. Um, <laughs> uh, we actually are getting uh, ready to liquidate a bunch of excess stock uh, buttons and lights and things like that. Oh, that's me. Um, but yeah, so check out our eBay. I'll put a link to it in the description. And yeah, you can pick up some of us. Michael's been working in here. He has mounted a vision camera to come here and look at this, uh, you know, because that was probably the last piece that a lot of you had asked about. So, if it all works and I haven't even tried it out, I should be able to come in here and hit the safety reset. And then we hit the green button, it dips down. Our light works exactly the same. It's gonna come along. And it's gonna run into everything wrong because, uh, yeah, oh, there we go. Well, you know, let's, let's make sure that we get it live when it breaks. Wow. Michael. Yes. I thought you had this ready to go. It's not done. Huh? It's not done. It's not done? Yeah, it's not done. Oh, no. It, 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 this is definitely done. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how our new, more compact um, setup works. We found, uh, yes, now it's shorter. And, and, yeah, so it should come down here. And then when it gets to this finished location, we ought to see this light flash over here. And we did. Michael gets a little picture. So tomorrow we'll take off and be thankful and then come back and try again Friday. Have a good Thanksgiving.